Okay, we've been working on heredity this week, and today's lesson is winter heredity lesson. What traits will be inherited? Rudolph wants to know why he has a red nose. He was wondering about his parents' genotype. Rudolph's genotype for his nose is lowercase r, lowercase r. What does this tell us about the genotype of Rudolph's parents? Black nose is represented with a capital B. Both his parents had a black nose. A, his parents had a genotype of dominant B, dominant B, or B, his parents had a genotype of dominant B, recessive R, and were a carrier for red nose. Rudolph is wondering if his offspring will have a red nose. His genotype is recessive R, recessive R. His phenotype is red nose. Clarice has a black nose. Her genotype is dominant B, recessive R. Her phenotype is black nose. Complete the Punnett square to see what are the chances of having offspring with a red nose or a black nose. Okay, and both their genotypes are in there already. Rudolph's and Clary's. The Alps are trying to find out if pointed ears is a dominant trait or recessive trait. Can you help them? P equals pointed ears, or capital P equals pointed ears, and lowercase c is curved ears. The father has a genotype of capital P, capital P, and the mother has a genotype of capital P, lowercase c. Is pointed ears dominant or recessive? Explain. Complete the Punnett square for the Alps. Dad's genotype is dominant P, dominant P, and Mom's genotype is dominant P, recessive C. And dominant P is pointed ears, recessive C is curved ears. And I already put Mom and Dad's genotypes into the Punnett square. You're going to complete the Punnett square, and then you're going to answer the two questions right on here. What are the chances of having offspring with pointed ears? And what are the chances of having offspring with curved ears? Okay, so this is kind of just fun. Um, and then we're going to do a fake um, Punnett square for the snowman and snowwoman. Okay, so we know they're not alive. But if they were, <laughs> and I gave you two that uh, depending on what your answers are, for your snowman and snow woman that you will fill out a Punnett square. So you have decorations you can add, it'll be kind of fun, uh, snowman and snow woman. Okay, so for the nose, carrot is dominant with capital C, and for the nose, if you put a rock, it's recessive, uh, lowercase r. And for the eyes, if you put the red button for the eyes, then that is a recessive trait, and black dominant, um, would be uh, capital D. Okay, based off of your snowman, answer the following questions. What is the genotype for his nose? What is the phenotype of his nose? What is the genotype for his eyes? And what is the phenotype of his eyes? And based off of your snow woman, answer the following questions. What is the genotype of her nose? What is the phenotype of her nose? What type is the genotype for her eyes? Or what could be the genotypes for her eyes? And what is the phenotype of her eyes? Okay, so you're gonna create your own Punnett square uh, from your snowman and snowwoman. So there's four boxes. So you either put uh, the snowman here or here or the woman here. Okay, or reverse it. Um, either pick one or the other based off the eyes or the nose. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. And then this is, uh, I believe, the last page. What percentage of the offspring would have? And you would only answer one of these two depending on which one you did. If you did the nose punted square or for the eyes. Okay, so if you did the nose, you're going to answer this one. If you did the punted square for the nose, what percentage of the offspring would be a carrier for R, lowercase r, which equals rock for the nose? And what percentage would you have a carrot nose? 
And then if you did the Punnett square for I's, what percentage of the offspring would be a carrier for lowercase r, um, recessive for red eyes, and what percentage would have black eyes? Okay, and I do believe that's it. All right, if you like my channel, please subscribe.